Day 16. We are officially technically over halfway. Wow. <laughs> it's, it feels like it's been forever and yet no time at all. Um, the prompts for today for the main calendar are magic or magical. Uh, this gave me a little bit of trouble. And then the prompt for the shadow calendar was Majora. The magic, magical prompt, it's such an open, vague prompt with how much magic is in Legend of Zelda. It was so hard to figure out what to do for this, so I did actually go onto the Linktober Discord, which you should check out if you're into it, because um, the community is absolutely amazing. Uh, I went there and I asked for suggestions. They're like, well, Wizrobe, Na Navi, uh, they threw a few things out at me. I was like, okay, well, I did Navi my first year, and I kind of like to redraw her because, I mean, I don't even, I don't remember completely, but I'm pretty sure that even back then, it's like, I liked her, but it was, I wasn't super happy with her. Uh, so I was, uh, okay, I'll redraw her. And, but as even when I did it, I wasn't happy. So this is one of the ones that I did redraw, but I didn't redraw the same thing. I left in me drawing Navi since it did happen and I did draw it. Uh, and just to show you what I was attempting to do, at least. One day I may redraw her again, but you know, take my time a little bit more. But I just, I wasn't happy with what I drew, I didn't like the design, I, I wasn't really sure what I was doing. So yeah, I just I just scrapped it. And um I I I'm sorry, not sorry, for doing yet another artwork that's in reference to my darkness descended story. Um I just I had several other ideas and I just I kept coming back to this one. And so I just I went with it. It took me a while to get how I wanted it positioned right. Originally I wanted him sort of standing and looking down at it, kind of like floating in his hand or something like that, and as I brought it down more around the page and had him lounging looking up at the coin, I felt it worked a lot better, especially considering a lot of times when I'm writing him in the story he is sitting up in a tree. Uh, so it, it felt better to... Uh, once I started doing this, it definitely it felt a lot better to draw it, and I was much, much happier with it. Uh, the Majora picture is the one I referenced uh, quite a bit ago when I was talking about the ocarina, uh, the, the time prompt, where I had the vines and I made a comment about, you know, I like my vines here, but I also hate myself for my vines later on. This is the one I hate myself for. Um, the idea was to sort of tie in this picture to the time prompt picture with the vines and, you know, the time idea and stuff like that. Just because time does play a very important role in the Majora's Mask game. Um, but I wanted it to kind of look like it's just been left and forgotten. And I, I, feel, I feel it works. Um, but yes, so this is not Link sitting in this tree here. Uh, this is actually Shadow Link sitting in this tree here. Um, who one of the characters refers to as Shade instead of saying Shadow Link or the hero's hero Shadow. or it's, it's just, They just call him Shade. Um, and uh, so, so that's just sort of become the name he's adopted, because he never had a name before, so he's just, he's Shade now. And, uh, yeah, so this, this is not the Dark Link that I drew in the very first day's prompt. This is a different character. I did say in that first day that it, it that scene was an idea for something that will happen much, much later in The Darkness Descended story, but these are not the same characters. That is Dark Link, and this is Shadow Link. Yes, they are different in my story. Um, 
their designs are similar to each other, but there is small little differences, if you can figure them out. Good for you. Um, but I'm really happy with how this came out and how I got the lighting and such, lighting and such to look, and especially the tree. I'm really happy with how the tree looks. The fairy that is floating above him, if he watched the day 10 video with Link, this fairy was actually in that picture as well. Uh, it is it is the red fairy that they will end up meeting at a, at at some point in time. They haven't with with what I've written so far, they haven't met met this fairy yet. But that fairy's particular that partic wow that particular fairy's name is Zul. So they're a little they're a little bit more on the serious, slightly grumpy side. But, you know. Meanwhile, Leaf is very... Very energetic and bouncy, but also slightly nervous and very easily scared. Zul just kind of goes with it and says, Oh, there's a big monster there. Oh, I'm scared. Ah, oh, kill it. <laughs> that's that's kind of Zul's personality. But yeah, I had, I had a lot of fun with this one and getting... Working with lighting and such, because I've not really done a picture with with hard lighting like this with with something so close and and bright so working with the the intense shadows and such was was actually a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be I was actually kind of scared at first because I hadn't really done something like this but I, I really enjoyed the picture and and getting all of the textures and such in and yeah I hope you like the final result too Now, as for the reason why I hate myself for these vines, um, well, if you know what Majora's Mask looks like, you might be able to figure that out, especially from this little sketch here. There's a lot of lines on the mask already! Um, <laughs> and now I'm adding even more little teeny tiny little lines. Uh, my hand hurt really bad after doing the inking for this, because, like, I was holding the pen like so tight to try and keep my hand from like 
wobbling or anything, so I didn't mess up. There was like still like one or two little spots where I kind of like, eh, but I was able to make it work. But I mean, after finishing coloring it and everything, it's like I'm actually, I am really happy with it, and it is probably one of my favorites, um, along with the uh, the main calendar's prompt, the the magic one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, try it. this. It is one of my favorites, but boy, was it nerve-wracking. Oh my gosh, it was so nerve-wracking doing this one. I was so terrified of messing it up. Because uh, there wasn't really going to be any way to fix it if I did. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it came out. Initially, I was going to do, like, proper shading on it and, you know, add all the lights and the darks and, you know, dramatic through the lighting. Um, but after I finished the flat color, I actually kind of felt like it had its own sort of disturbance. <laughs> um, and I almost felt like it worked better being flat than if I shaded it. I showed it to my brother and he's like, yeah, it's kind of, kind of gives the feel of... I'm still here. You may have forgotten about me, but I'm still here and I'm not going anywhere. I was like, yeah. So it's, and I wanted to do a thicker outline on it. I don't think I recorded the doing the thicker outline, but I wasn't sure if I just wanted to do it black or if I wanted to do it all white or if I wanted to split it. Uh, I did end up splitting it. I did on the top part, I did a white outline and then on the bottom part I did a thicker black outline and I really feel like it helps bring out that idea of I'm still here and I'm waiting and don't think I'm gone so it's like I it mmm the Majora's Mask is creepy but yeah I'm really happy with the final result of both of these and for as stressful as this one was to color in, uh, I did really enjoy it and the final result, and I hope you like the final result too. And uh, if you do like the final result, go and check out the other Linktobers I've done for this year. The link for that playlist will be up in the card along with all of the previous year's Linktobers playlists. So uh, uh, yeah, go and, go and check those out and join me for my Linktober arty journey. And if you liking this, then maybe join me on my regular arty journey that continues all the time through the year and we'll have some fun together and, and do some art and I hope to see you tomorrow. Till then, bye.